Welcome back to Power Lunch. The decline in the stock market means a lot of companies have seen steep declines in their own valuations. So which ones should or could be bought? Which should be doing the buying? Let's do some matchmaking, shall we? David, Duncan Davidson, partner at Bullpen Capital, joins us now. Duncan, let's kick it off with the first name that you've put out there, which is Microsoft. On a day where Roku is falling dramatically, you think Microsoft should buy Roku? Very natural partnership. They need something. They're way behind Apple, Google, Amazon, and the streaming wars. And they know how to deal with hardware and operating systems. This is a perfect acquisition for them. It would, they'd jump right in, they'd have an ad tier type of service, which is where the market's going. And they have a really interesting trick up their sleeve, which is to tie their Xbox games and do streaming games through Roku. Uh, I think they're crazy not to do this. Can they do now, that if they're still in a pending uh, acquisition period for Activision Blizzard? Well, is that going to happen? But, if, you know, mm -hmm. Blizzard would help more games through here. Yes, they can handle two at once. It also, by the way, sets them up downstream to buy Netflix, which a lot of people have thrown out as an idea. Seems a little early right now. I'll give you one more thing about Roku. They hired uh, Charlie Collier, who was used to be at AMC and Fox, and he's a guy that launched Mad Men. So Roku with Microsoft heft can develop original content like Apple and Amazon are doing. This is a match that has to happen. A match that has to happen. All right, here's a second one. And this one, I don't know if it has to happen or if it'll ever happen. It's an, it's an interesting one. Carvana, obviously, the stock's been wiped out. The, the company seems like it's struggling. eBay, though? Why would e eBay Motors just bring it in Carvana? Exactly. So he, here's the logic. Now, the used cars went through a huge pandemic bubble. It's bursting. In effect, wholesale prices are starting to fall rapidly. But the other side of it is Carvana has dropped so much. It's relatively cheap. So the play here is to pick them up. I think eBay will have a fairly good run with this because new cars are still in shortage. They're probably going to stay high priced for a while to make room for EVs. In other words, the OEMs are going to play that game. Used cars are the place to be. And eBay needs something like this. It's interesting that you would say eBay and not, I mean, I guess it's not interesting because Amazon's so big, it's already under antitrust scrutiny. Is that why you would say a name like eBay, which also has that sort of e-commerce aspect to it? Well, eBay already has a play in the car business. So this is a thing they could really get hefted up. That's why it makes sense. Amazon, no, no, Amazon's got other fish to fry, not this one. Yeah. Okay, finally, SpaceX. Should it buy okay. Boeing? This one got yeah, my attention. Yeah, this is the big idea. This is the big idea. Come on. Elon likes to fix things. Boeing needs to be fixed. And this is a clever deal because the art of the deal says you pick up Boeing, but you sell off the military, the old McDonnell Douglas, probably to Northrop, and you spin out the commercial, the jet business, or maybe try to sell it. It may be the space segment of Boeing, which is what Elon would want, would be relatively cheap. Because I think Boeing is selling at a huge discount to a breakup value. I mean, the reason why Elon's the right guy, by the way, is that Boeing has to get back to an engineering culture. Let me give you a simple story. They had been thinking about launching a new mid market airplane, the 797, which would have transformed the core of the airplane business. But they didn't do it because it didn't pencil out. So the engineering culture would have launched it, the finance culture doesn't launch anything. And Boeing is sitting there with huge management bloat. It needs to get fixed. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.